Welcome back. Nicholas St. John joins me now, and he's the author of two books that I, well, more than that, but Human Viral Infections and Nine Things You Can Do to Smack Them Down. And your latest book is um, The Immunity Crisis in America. America. That's right. Um, so tell me, I know you've had some speaking engagements. Do you have any coming up? Yeah, I actually do. This coming Saturday over at, <coughs> excuse me, over at Nat Natural Grocers uh, mm -hmm. on North Rock Road. Uh, I'll be speaking there Saturday uh, at 11 a.m. Okay. So, yeah, come on out to uh, Natural Grocers. You can hear a presentation that I do where I go through the seven things you can do to really boost your immune system and, and almost to superhuman levels. <laughs> Which would be nice because, like you said before, we, we're, we're reacting instead of uh, being proactive towards our own health. And Well, we're always good. playing catch-up. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you've paid any attention to the news lately, what have we heard in the news? E. coli. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So at this point, I think there's some 50 or 51 people um, that have contracted E. coli out in the Washington, Oregon area uh, from uh, a major chain restaurant. And, uh, and so, you know, they're battling that now. Well, listen, this isn't new. I and mean, we had a couple years ago, it was on cantaloupe. And before that, it was, you know, on lettuce. and Peanut butter. Peanut butter. And, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's an ongoing thing. Well, there is no vaccine for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> what do you do to make sure you don't become susceptible to it? So, first of all, E. coli is, it's a bacteria. And there are, interestingly enough, and I didn't know until I started studying, E. coli is actually, there's a, a bunch of, that type of bacteria in our digestive system and in most mammals. Uh, so E. coli was named after the, the, the doctor who, who discovered it. And in this case, there happens to be a strain called uh, O157H7. And that, that one combined with another one called uh, O26 happened to be the kind of the ones that what creates a toxin. That toxin is what's called the Shiga toxin. Well, in, in any case, regardless of whatever we found, if you strengthen your immune system, mm -hmm. it can get rid of toxins, yeah. right? So it's not a surprise that when you boost your immune system using the things I talk about, especially sodium ascorbate, sodium ascorbate is known to combine with the toxins through a reactive, a chemical reactive process that is essentially is hydrogen peroxide. Really? Okay. And so it converts, it sits in your cells, and then when it comes in contact with these toxins, it releases that extra oxygen atom and kills, the, the, the combines with the toxin and makes it no longer toxic. Okay. Well, that's good to know. <clears throat> so uh, it, it can be severe. There's about 100,000 cases a year in the United States. Mm -hmm. I had no idea there were that many. No. I but, you know, and, and, but when it comes from a major chain restaurant, it makes all the news, right? Yeah. And then, of course, if you have someone die from it. Now, the death rate is, I mean, it's, the mortality rate on an E. coli infection is extremely low. It's 0.009%. But if you're that one... <laughs> well, that's right. If you're, if you're the 90 out of 100,000 a year who die from it, it's, it's obviously <laughs> devastating. Mm -hmm. So, again, we don't want anyone... Listen, my whole thing is, let's quit living in fear. Let's quit living in a way where we're trying to catch up all the time, you know, instead of, you know, when you look at the number of people uh, who get it, <clears throat> most don't even show symptoms, or if they do, it's very, very, very mild. Now, the worst symptoms are, you know, diarrhea and uh, abdominal cramping, pain, tenderness, nausea, and vomiting, uh, if you have a bad reaction. Mm -hmm. Well, when I started looking at what causes a bad reaction, guess what I found? A weakened immune system. <laughs> Weakened immune system right on the website. Age and weakened immune system. Who is it? Young children and older adults. Mm -hmm. They have a weakened immune system. Right. Okay. So if you take the, the things that I teach, the protocols, mm -hmm. you can strengthen your immune system and you can stay on the other side of that 0.009%. And, like I said, there are people who have such a strong immune system. If you think that uh, the 50 cases that they've identified, they're saying that a lot of people probably got it and didn't, and didn't even know it. it. Yeah, didn't realize okay? it. Okay, why didn't they know it? Because their immune system was strong, mm -hmm. strong enough, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what we want everybody to have. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to have a strong enough immune system that, it, look, it's not going to go away. 
every year we just seem to have one more case of it in another restaurant and it broke out you know the meat or the the vegetables or the you know like I said peanut butter yeah. or the cantaloupe or whatever well and don't you think that if the if the um terrorists want to get to us they get to our food source you know what and that's exactly right and we talked about the the fact that you know when there was a terrorist they didn't call it in those days mm -hmm. but when the guy infected or not infected but injected uh, arsenic into Tylenol right there were people who probably survived that because their immune systems were strong enough to be able to withstand that. Now they probably got sick, but yeah, they it didn't. It didn't, didn't kill it, it. Yeah, it didn't get the upper hand. Mm -hmm. And so that's all we want is for people to be able to recognize that. Look, you, there's some simple things you can do. And I meant to bring it, I didn't. But uh, uh, this weekend when I'm speaking over at Natural Grocers, you know, I'm a big sodium ascorbate, vitamin mm -hmm. C. Well, I've taken gotten to the point where I actually have it in a salt shaker now. Oh yeah. And it holds, I think, about five grams of. And I sprinkle it on everything that I eat. Uh -huh. There is no taste to it. Yeah. So if you have a salad, put it on some salad. If you've got, you know, meat, put it on the meat. It just is another way to continually bolster uh -huh. the amount that you get at a regulated rate. And that brings up a question I've had before, and I forgot to ask: When you take vitamin C, whatever form you take it in, is it best to take it all at once, or, or is it best to, to take it at different times during the day? You know, that's a great question. It, it should be, it depend, well, the answer is, it depends. Okay. <laughs> it depends on well, whether, your, well, it depends on whether your, your body needs it at a, at a significant rate. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're very sick, you could take 10, 10 grams an hour and not reach what's called bowel tolerance. For those who are, who are healthy, Take it in one to two gram increments mm -hmm. spread out through the day. So if you want to take six grams in a day, do a couple in the morning, then a couple at lunch, and a couple at night, uh, you know, with dinner. Mm -hmm. And so that will give you your six grams in a day or 6,000 milligrams. Okay. So you spread it out. Otherwise, if you reach what's called bowel tolerance, you'll get a loose stool or, or mild diarrhea. It's not something that continues like you get sick and you go, oh, I've got diarrhea for a week. Right. No, it's one bout and it's cleaned out and you're done. Yeah. So it's not devastating. There's that's you know that's the worst side effect is it cleaned you out a little bit and yeah. and, and you start over. So it's just reaching bowel tolerance. So mm -hmm. anyway, but yeah, that's that's uh, one of the things we cover. You know, I'm going to be covering also uh, colloidal silver is great for E. coli. They tell you not to get the uh, uh, some kind of antibiotic is what most of them say. Actually, not to get not Cipro. Although people get that. Mm -hmm. So you know, come out and join us on uh, Saturday at Natural Grocers at 11 a.m. You'll hear more about it. Okay. Well, Nicholas, thanks for joining us. This is important. And we'll be back with more Your Hour, so stay with us.